Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve from Sample Sound Review. Today we are going back to the 80s and we're checking out U Jam's Beatmaker Vice. So, guys, if you're looking for the ultimate 80s drum virtual instrument plugin, this is it. U Jam's Beatmaker Vice will satisfy whatever wave you're riding on. Whether you do synth wave, retro wave, future wave, retro pop, I don't know, anything that consists of that killer 80s drum sound and beats, you're gonna want this. You get 10 drum kits based on legendary drum machines. You get 12 mixes, you get 30 styles and 690 patterns. And you also have the ability to MIDI drag and drop. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. We're gonna go right into it we're gonna do a little overview of the interface and then we're gonna get right to the presets and then you're gonna click buy because you're gonna want this immediately. And Let's go back to the 80s guys. Okay guys, let's check out the interface real fast. The top, you'll see retro, modern, experimental. These are your presets. Now in the middle section here, you'll see at the at the left, you'll see your kits. These are your kits, okay? You got 10 kits to choose from. Core, Neon, Sting, blah, blah, blah. Next to the kit are these two sliders. Okay, so what you got here is to the left, you have a slider where you can increase the snare of the kit or the kick of the kit. Now here to the right is a slider where you can actually create more of a modern, you know, futuristic type of mix to the kit, like more of a modern synth wave sound or go back to, you know, a, a nice 80s mix of the drum kit. So this increases to the modern spectrum obviously with the futuristic, I guess, retro wave type of mix to a retro 1980s type of mix. And if you go to the right, you'll see the actual mix settings, which you have a choice of um, 12 mixes. And you have Elegant Drive, Drone, Reflect, Power, Evan Essence, or Evan S, I don't know what that is. Sway, Echo, Cyber, Gigawatt, Beam, Arcade. Now you can't have a mix without Gigawatt, which is cool. So to the left, you can increase the mix sound. So you can blend between a powerful mix to a more neutral sounding mix. Uh, the right, you can adjust the beat intensity. Now if we go down here to the instruments keys, you'll see snare one, clap. It all starts on C1. You'll see bass drum snare drum to accent if you click on like you know say the the bass drum you'll find down here you can swap out you have a choice between all 10 kits that you can swap out um their bass drum you know the individual bass drum from each of those kits so snare drum two you select you can come down here and select between you know, core, sting, indigo, and, and so forth. You also have control of the individual mix of each instrument down here with pitch, filter, decay, and you can mix each one of these. Now this is something new for you, Jam, which I really like. I like how you can mix those individually. And then if you want to apply your master effects, you just come over here. You got sweep, saturation, maximize, ambience, uh, 
few mixed presets here. And um, lastly, you have the styles. The styles are all uh, labeled here. You got your title and you got your BPM. Now, everything syncs to the DAW, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you want to get the idea, like say, uh, you know, say you click on When Birds Cry, which would be, you know, in other words, that would be like When Doves Cry by Prince. So at 127, that's going to be the appropriate BPM of what that song, you know, uh, tempo is. But you can change it to whatever you want. It's going to sync perfectly. And then, so these are all your styles, okay? Now, to lay down a song quickly, you have, starting on C3, you'll have your verses. And starting on C4, you'll have your choruses. And then you'll have, you know, specials and then stop. This is great for, you know, quickly getting something done they, they've got it all figured out for you. And then you have on your black keys, you'll have intros, fills, endings, breakdowns. And then the, the other part we'll go over is like latch mode, which is really cool. You have micro timing too, which I'm not going to go into a bunch of that, but uh, I'm not really going to go into that, but there it is. Latch mode is awesome for like you could do this live or like it, it continues the performance of the track. So let's say we got birds cry. Let me get the tempo. Let me set the tempo exactly how they have it, just so you understand what that sounds like. Okay, let's click that. So there's the tempo. Latch mode continues that performance in a kind of a loop mode, even though it's not a loop. But it'll give you a, a really cool way of like, hey, let's check out a fill here in real time. You know, you can change these. Those are endings. Let's go with a breakdown. Fill. So that's really awesome. And these are specials. And then you got your stop button. That's it, guys. That's the basic overview of the interface. So stick with me and let's go through these awesome presets.